Hi there and welcome. This is Yoga for All and my name is Liam and I will be leading this practice. Um, this was originally supposed to be a morning practice, um, but it is an evening practice just for this week, just for today. Um, so the vibe of the class might be a little different than normal. The lighting's a little different, um, but we're going to start off uh, lying on our back. So you can make your way to your yoga mat, wherever you're practicing, and then just make your way down however it comes naturally and comfortably to rest on the back body. And once you make your way down, you can send the legs long on your yoga mat or bend the legs or find a comfortable spot to begin. It can look like this. It can look and feel like this with the legs bent and the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Or anything in between or any other option that comes through to you. And so feel free to wiggle around, move around a little bit, make it comfortable, make it accessible. And we start to notice the breath on the back body. And so we take breath in and out through the nose. And doing this allows us to slow down the breath, to slow down the breathing of our body. And in turn, it steadies our heart rates, and it also has a calming effect on our nervous system. And so just one simple movement, connection of movements allows the body to become soft. And you might start to feel this sense of ease come over, or you might feel the opposite. And that's acceptable too. And so is there anything that you know you can do in your body here to maybe work towards ease? Maybe it's opening the eyes and finding a point to focus on. Maybe it's letting the hands rest so you can feel the ground underneath of you, you can feel that support. And take your time to figure it out. And just be here however you're here. It doesn't have to be in any particular way. It's just exactly how you are. We don't have to think about it or change anything. And so as we rest on the back body, we notice the support of the earth. We either have that point that we're focusing on or we're closing down the eyes. And as we rest on the back body, we tap into the back of the body. And so the back of our body is associated with the past or what's kind of brought us here in this moment, exactly where we are and is exactly who we are. We lean back into memories, into things that we know, into past events, past relationships, with everybody, with friends, family members, Can we steady the breath as we reflect and look back? Knowing that all those things now only exist in our minds and that we're never going back there. Physically in our bodies, it's not possible. But we can go back there when it feels helpful in our minds in our thoughts. And there's times where it's helpful, there's times where maybe it's not helpful. 
And so maybe our yoga practice in this moment is about figuring out what is it helpful, what is it not helpful. So we notice the breath on the back of the shoulders, the back of the ribs, the low back. As we inhale, we can feel the body inflating and filling up and pressing against the ground. And as we exhale, everything returns back to center. So as we move out of the past, we move into the center of the body where the lungs are. Maybe we can even picture the lungs in our mind, breathing, taking in air. Functioning just as they're meant to. Filtering through the nose, up into the sinuses, down through the uh, back of the throat with each inhale and out that same path. And can we imagine as we're in the present moment, like the lungs are filling up like a balloon in place. Breath in and then breath out. Everything returning back to the present moment. We're always coming to that present moment. Inhaling and exhaling, releasing. From the present, we take ourselves forward. And the present is constantly transforming into what we maybe had an idea of what the future held for us. But yoga asks us to not have any attachment to that. To have hopes, to have thoughts on what might happen, but to not be attached to only one outcome. And so let the breath fill the body in all three places, the back of the body, the center of the body, and the front of the body. Each moment we're kind of fluctuating through all three areas, the past, the present, and the future, all at once. You kind of move back around, back and forth. Continue to breathe through your practice. That's the most important part. And so let's bring the knees in towards the front of the ribs. We bend into the legs. Arms can wrap around the front of the knees or the backs of the thighs. And let's rock side to side. We feel into the backs of the hips. And maybe we even, as we come out towards the right, we extend the right leg wide to the right and pull that right leg in. As we drop over to the left, we extend the left leg wide to the left. And we're just holding on to the backs of the legs with the hands, kind of stretching and straightening the legs. And then let's go ahead and make our way up to center. We can roll forward and back on the spine a couple times to come into a seat, or you can turn to one side of the body or the other and come into a seat. And so we'll arrive at a seat on our mats. Let's go ahead and cross the legs. Facing the front edge of our mat, we'll rest the hands on the tops of the knees. On an inhale, beam the heart forward. On an exhale, start to round the spine, tuck the chin in towards the collarbone, let the gaze look down towards the feet, towards that space between the legs. Inhale, heart energizes itself forward, and we're kind of arching the spine, arching the back. Exhale as we round the spine back. Inhale, forward, exhale, round the back. So some seated cat and cows here. And we match breath to movement. And you can feel, you can notice that we're moving between the back of the body, the center of the body, and the front of the body as we move in this way. And then we'll meet back at center. And let's play around with just elongating the spine, reaching the top of the head up towards the ceiling. We're not necessarily straightening the spine, we're just lengthening the spine. 
Roll the shoulders up, back, and down a couple of times. And then let the right ear drop towards the right shoulder. Inhale, the head up through center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder, getting some stretches in the sides of the neck. Inhale, center. Right ear to right shoulder. This time, let's tuck the chin in towards the top of the chest. And then inhale, left ear, left shoulder, and slide the head back, opening the front of the throat. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder, chin tucks inwards, over and around to the left, and let the head release back. And let's move into circular motion with the head on the neck a couple times in this direction. And switch direction. And let's make our way into a tabletop. You can move from easy seated pose by planting the hands and lifting the seat and then crossing the legs underneath. That's one option. Another option is to simply uncross the legs, feet come to one side, knees point to the other, and then up and around into our tabletop. Let's sway the hips side to side a couple of times. And then we'll meet back at center in our tabletop. And we'll find threaded needle. So left hand plants first under the gaze, under the face. Right arm reaches out wide up, then overhead. As we open up the right side line on an inhale, on an exhale, we'll start to thread right arm under left and rest down to the outside of the right shoulder. Hips are still hovering over the knees. Extend that left arm forward, breathe here. Reach the left fingertips towards the top edge of the mat. Release anything that maybe feels that it doesn't need to be held here. And then inch the left fingertips over towards the top right corner of your mat, if it feels comfortable. If it feels like it's needed, we'll inch or slide the left hand a little closer to the left edge of the mat. Slide the hand back so we plant the left hand in front of the face. Unthread the right arm out from under the left. Reach the right arm out wide. Reach the right arm up. Exhale, reach it forward. Plant the right hand down. Tabletop. Find some cat and cows. Inhale to open the heart, gaze forward and up. Exhale to round the spine. Inhaling, exhaling. We'll meet back at center. Send the right leg straight back behind us. Everything else is planted in our tabletop shape. And you can connect the toes to the ground or pick up the foot. Take an inhale. Exhale, right knee up towards the right elbow. Inhale, right leg straight back. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, straight back behind you. Right knee to right elbow. Be mindful of all that's around us. Then we'll plant the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand. Walk that right foot in so we frame this front foot. Bring the hands to then rest on that front right knee as we Stand up tall in this kind of lunge variation. Reach the arms wide, reach the arms up. Breathe, wiggle the fingertips, lean back. Inhale, exhale, frame this front foot, tuck the toes, lift our back knee. We're in our low lunge. And let's step. Left foot forward to meet the right forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands just below the knees or in front of the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand up. We can reach the arms out wide, take up space, lean back. Exhale, hands up. Breathe here. 
Notice that connection of the hands at center and our Anjali Mudra at the top of our mat. We have the left side maybe signifying our past. The space between the hands signifying our present and the right is our future. Everything coming together all at once. And so we separate the hands ever so slightly. Feel that energy between the hands. The present moment grows wider and bigger. The past is a little further away from the future. We start to see each one individually for what it is, knowing that we can only ever truly experience the present now. Our body does not know what the past is or what the future is. It only has concepts and ideas of it through our mind. Open the eyes if they're closed. Drop the arms down along the side body and then reach the arms out wide and up. Inhale, lean back, back bend, exhale, fold down over the legs. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, let's plant the hands. Step that left foot straight back behind you. So we're in that same low lunge shape. Lower that back knee and let's straighten that front leg as we walk the hands back and fold the upper body towards the front right leg. Half on the bottom. Inhale, walk the hands forward. Open the heart. And exhale, let's plant the hands. Step the right leg back to meet the left tabletop, but then walk the hands forward and lower the front of the hips towards the mat, towards the ground, into our cobra shape. Back bend, heart opener. Softly bend into the arms, hug the elbows close into the body as you release all the way down to the mat. Chin might connect to the ground. Adjust the hands as needed. Inhale, press up once again into cobra. Exhale, let's tuck our toes, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, up our to our tiptoe. Breathe here for a couple breaths. Stretching out the feet, and then release the heels towards the ground. And lower into tabletop. Open the knees wide, connect the big toes. Seat finds the heels, arms slide forward. Child pose, or known in Sanskrit, I'm sorry, Sanskrit is known as balasana. Continue to breathe. You might even rock the forehead side to side. Bend the fingers in towards the palms. Rotate the hands around on the wrists. And then re-extend the arms. Inhale, rise up table. Let's find our threaded needle on the other side. Pick up the right hand and then plant it just below the face, creating stability, finding that central line of the body. Inhale, left arm reaches out wide, left arm reaches up. We might even gaze upwards. Exhale, we start to look down towards the mat. So we thread the left arm under the right. Adjust that right hand to create support for thread a needle on this side. Breath in and out through our nose. You might want to extend the right arm forward and then walk the right hand over towards the left top corner of your mat. Go ahead and slide the right hand a little closer to the right edge of the mat. Slide the right hand so it points just in front of the face. 
Press into the right hand to unthread. Left arm from under the right side body. Left arm inches up. Exhale, tabletop. And then from here, let's extend the left leg straight back behind us. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg reaches long. Long line with the spine and that extended leg and the head and the neck. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg reaches long. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Let's plant the left foot and then frame that front foot. Keep that right leg where it is. Right hip might be generally right over that right knee. Bring the hands to rest on that top left knee, front left knee. <laughs> Reach the arms around and up. You might even lean back a little bit, stretching the psoas and the hips. Inhale, stand up a little taller. Exhale, frame this front foot. Tuck the toes, lift that back knee, low runner's lunge. And then let's step the right foot forward to meet the left, forward fold. Let's walk the feet out wide. Find opposite elbows and find our right doll shape from side to side. Reach the hands towards the earth. Heel toe the feet under the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release and fold. Inhale, root into the feet. Reach the arms out wide. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands at heart. Arms rest along the side body. Feet are about hip distance. And we close down the eyes. This is our mountain pose. Standing. It seems so easy and so simple. There's so much happening for us to be here that a lot of the time we don't even think about it. We don't even realize all that needs to come together for us to be here. Sometimes we do. And in those moments, there's magic happening. There's true connection happening. We, when we can be with the things that seem impossible, the ideas and the feelings that excite us and open us up and lift us upwards. Open the eyes, reach the arms wide, reach the arms up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step the left foot straight back behind us, low lunge. Let's lower that back knee down. Start to walk the hands back as we straighten through the front right leg. Inhale to walk the hands forward and let's pick up that back knee, step the left foot forward. And I meant to do the other side, so we'll find forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step the right foot straight back behind us. Lower the right knee, straighten the left leg, walk the hands back. We want this half pawning on the other side. We already did the other side. So we did the right foot forward, we want the left foot forward. And sometimes the body evens out by finding different motions on different sides in different increments, and that's our body's way of evening out. Inhale, walk the hands forward, little lunge, open the heart. You might even lift up the fingertips away from the ground. And then let's step the left leg back to meet the right, walk the hands forward, carefully lower the front of the hips so they're floating kind of just back behind the arms cobra and then exhale we'll go ahead and lower all the way down elbows tucking close inhale find another cobra shape 
And then exhale, tuck our toes, hips rise up and back. Downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here. From our down dog, inhale, right leg straight back behind. Exhale, knee in towards the nose. Plant the right foot between the hands at the top of the mat. And let's adjust that back foot down at an angle. Arms reach forward, arms reach up, warrior one. So we're bent through that front leg, long through that back leg, back legs down at an angle. Or the back foot is down at an angle, not the leg. Let's connect the hands that are Anjali Mudra, heart center, to then step left foot forward to meet the right. We engage our core to step forward. And at the top of our mat, let's go ahead and drop the arms along the side body. Roll the shoulders a couple times. Move the shoulders around. Reach the arms wide, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands and heart. Extend that right arm out wide to the right, palm face up. Reach that right arm up and over, so then the palm kind of rests on the back of the neck or the upper part of the shoulders. And so then from there, the left arm reaches out wide and we reach the left arm, so the left hand connects to the right elbow. And we inch the right fingertips down the back. Breath in and out. And then release both arms, shake the arms out, move the shoulders. Hands reach out wide, arms reach up, hands connected, heart. This time, extend the left arm out wide, reach that left arm up and over as we bend into the elbow, left hand plants on kind of the back of the neck or just below the neck. Right arm reaches out wide, and we reach the right arm up and over, find the left elbow with the right hand, standing up tall. Breath in and out. And then release everything. Let's inhale, arms reach wide and up. Exhale, fold down over the legs, forward fold, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, let's step the left foot straight back behind, and then the right foot straight back behind, high plank, lower the knees, lower all the way to the mat. Slide the hands a little further back, inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Let's move to the other side. So left leg with your toes. Shoot. I am back. <laughs> I apologize for the delay. Um, there probably wasn't really one on here. I apologize for the um, the plant pot breaking. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. I don't usually practice um, this direction on my mat, so this was completely new. Um, but I figured I will end the practice, at least for us. I'm not sure how much time is left, but I will even us out on both sides, um, wherever you were. Um, let's go ahead and all meet in a uh, child's pose. So we'll make our way down onto our mat. We'll take some breath. And we'll reach the arms forward. And we'll release. So I just took some time to clean up, make sure there weren't any ceramic pieces from the pots on the ground to give my plant a new home. And knowing that sometimes, as I said, things just don't go how we plan. Take some breath, breathe in and out. 
Feel the ground. And let's go ahead and inhale, rise up into our tabletop. And this time I'll be a little more mindful of my surroundings. We'll tuck our toes, lift the hips up and back, and we'll find your downward facing dog. Let's inhale, let's reach left leg straight back behind us. Exhale, let's go ahead and bring the left leg in towards the nose, plant the left foot between the hands. Let's adjust that back foot down at an angle, reach the arms forward, rise up. Warrior one, other side. And we'll breathe here, we might even lean a little further back into it. Hands meet at heart. And let's step the right foot forward to meet the left, standing at the top edge of our mat. We'll reach both arms out of the T, so we're at the top edge of our mat, arms reach out of the T. And we'll flip the right hand over, reach that right arm up and over, left arm then drops alongside the left side body, side bend here. Inhale both arms up, exhale to the other side, finding that C shape or banana curve. Inhale both arms up. Exhale, other side, where we started once again. Inhale, up. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands into heart. And then this time, let's reach the hands wide and find the fingertips connecting with one another behind you. We can straighten through the arms and have that slight bend through the elbows. Elongating, tall through the spine, strength through the core. Feet about hip distance, inhale. Exhale, let's go ahead and fold forward with the arms back behind us. You can start to straighten the arms up towards the ceiling or let the arms rest on the back body. Start to bend into the legs, sink the seat, reach the arms forward. And bring the hands into heart, sit the seat down into our chair pose or fierce pose. And then inhale to root into the feet and stand up. And let's do that a couple more times. Reach the arms back behind us and release the fingers, open the heart, inhale. Long through the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale to sink the seat back. Reach the arms out in front, hands connect at heart, your Anjali Mudra, chair pose. Inhale to stand up. One more time, connect the hands behind us. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, seat sinks, chair pose. And then inhale to stand up. This time, we'll reach the arms wide and dive forward, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, let's plant the hands and step the right foot straight back behind us. Plant the hands, step the left foot straight back behind us. High plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way to the mat. Rest the top of the feet, slide the hands a little further back. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, hips go up and back, and we're facing dog. Let's walk the feet to the hands at the top of the mat, but walk the feet a little wider. Find that wide leg forward fold. Find opposite elbows with the hands, sway the upper body for rag doll shape. And then start to root into the feet, plant the feet, gauge the legs, reach the arms wide, find the hands back behind you, find the forward fold as we open the heart here, arms lifting up towards the ceiling, resting on the back body. And then let's inhale to lift up into this kind of wide leg chair pose. Heel toe the feet in under the hips. 
as we straighten um, the legs and stand up, let's pick up the right leg. Bring the right leg up in front of you, holding onto the front of the knee with both hands. And then sit the outside edge of the right ankle on the top of the left knee, and we'll find our one-legged chair as we sink down, sink the seat, just like our chair pose, but we have this right leg in our figure four shape. Inhale to stand up and release the right foot next to the left. And then we'll go ahead and reach the arms wide, reach the arms up, exhale, fold. Find the hands back behind you, reach the arms up, forward fold with the heart opening, arms lifted. Inhale as we sink the seat, we'll bring the hands into heart chair pose. And then let's go ahead and stand up and bring this left leg with us. And plant the outside edge of the left foot on the top of the right knee as we sink into our one-legged chair, hands at heart. Finding that present moment of the hands connecting. Let's go ahead and stand up, release the left foot from the right knee, shake it all out. Let's open the feet wide, reach the arms wide, arms reach up. Exhale, let's start to sink down into our Malasana or squat sheet. Seat comes between the heels, hands in front of the heart. And then use the hands for support as we release the seat to the ground. Let's send the legs long in front, finding your staff pose, hands just alongside the hips. And then walk the hands forward, fold down over the legs, forward fold. And then before we lift up into a seat and we have a tall spine, let's connect the soles of the feet, the knees open wide, and let's fold over our uh, Vadakonasana legs. Palms might connect just in front of the feet. Fingertips pointing towards the top edge of the mat. Pinky resting on the mat, thumb resting on the side of the hand. Let's inhale, walk the arms up, lift up tall through the spine. Use the hands to guide the legs to center. Make your way down onto your mat. And then let's sway the knees side to side. Knees come up through center and then drop down to one side. You might even press the hands on the front of the hips as you move from side to side, knees picking up, lifting up through center, and then dropping to one side and the other, alternating back and forth. We'll connect the soles of the feet. We'll start to flutter the legs like butterfly wings. And we have Maybe long strides of the legs here. And then pick the legs up about halfway and we'll flutter the legs a shorter distance. So the legs aren't opening as close to the ground. So there's less space between the inner knees as we flutter the legs here. And then bring the legs even closer. We'll feel the hips. We'll notice the hips. Well, notice the momentum. Keep breathing. And then slow the movement down. Open the knees wide. Find that place where we connect into memory. We feel it in the hips. We feel it in the psoas. The psoas is said to be as powerful with memory as the brain is with memory. The psoas is a muscle group that connects upper body to lower body. And so we might feel some residual energy 
kind of bouncing around in that area just from fluttering our legs. You might bring forward images and memories. Breathe into whatever is coming through. Let it bring you into this present moment, knowing that that's just a memory. This is where you are now. And maybe even see yourself after we leave our yoga mat, after this practice, how can we carry whatever we felt or brought forward that is helpful in our yoga practice afterwards, after we leave our yoga mat, how can we bring it with us? And then for our Shavasana, we'll send the legs long on our yoga mat. The feet can flop out wide. You can adjust yourself as needed. Make note of the space that you have. And I know my pot, my potted plant falling <laughs> and the pot breaking is a good reminder to be aware of our surroundings. A good reminder to be in the present moment. Let the breath slow down. It's still coming from the same place. Let's notice the thoughts and the images coming forward and the power of our, our mind, and the power of memory. How we long for it. How it guides us. and how it can be useful. And it's up to us to decipher when a certain memory is being helpful and maybe when a certain memory needs to go, needs to not be with us so consistently. So we'll rest here for a few moments not really taking up any time because our shavasana is without time it's without space so the moment we have time to it then it's not shavasana anymore <laughs> so we'll rest here in this moment in time and i'll let time and space be up to you So it seems in some aspects that we've traveled so far away and that now we're coming back to the body. But then at the same time, did we really go anywhere at all? Do we have that capacity of 
traveling and being somewhere else through the inner world of our mind, of our body, of our energy. So we'll wake the body up by moving, breathing, adjusting, doing something with the body to show yourself that you're here, that you're present in this moment. And then start to make your way to the right or left side body. And then up into a seat. We'll find the mat underneath of us. We'll cross the legs in our easy seated pose. We'll rest the left hand on the energetic heart space and the right hand on top of the left hand. And we'll breathe here. Coming back to maybe what it is that you brought with you, taking it with you, sharing it with others. That's our truest form of yoga, is sharing our experiences. Hands connected, heart and Anjali Mudra, past, present, and future, all coming together at once. Knowing that we have the capacity to separate and to bring them together when needed. And maybe throughout the week, we'll examine when we're in the past, when we're present, when we're future. And knowing that the past and the future only happen in our mind, that we're not actually there. But maybe we'll acknowledge and note when we're paying attention to the past, and paying attention to the concept of the future. And when we're right here in this moment, when we're aware that we're here in this moment. So take what you need with you, end your practice in a way that honors you as whoever you are in this moment, wherever you came from, in a way that has meaning for you? Is it the word thank you? Is it silence? Is it another word? Is it a gesture? I acknowledge and honor our practice with a thank you and be well. And I honor yoga and I thank yoga for its continual teachings in the moment, in every moment, and that when things happen in real life, they happen for a reason. <laughs> so I thank you so much for practicing, acknowledging that we're all working towards that non-attachment to outcome, even me <laughs> as the yoga instructor. I'm no higher or lower, we're all on the same level. <laughs> So please reach out if you have any questions. Um, I'm on Instagram under Leanna underscore Ankney. Um, or, you know, if you want my email address, then maybe just reach out to Natalie or somebody at TBS and they can get you my information. But I thank you so much for practicing. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Be well.